guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we're going to be kicking off our mid stick series. Now that's going to be in terms of like mid price point, sticks between $100 to $150. To kick it off we're doing Sherwood versus CCM with a code TMP2 against the CCM AS570. Now the Sherwood is a hybrid kick point stick, the CCM is a mid kick stick, so it's very easy to match them up against each other. Before you jump into it, of course we're going to be BSing it against the uh, Jet Speed series, which is a hybrid kick point stick from CCM, but we wanted to start with this. Now before I jump into the video, comment down below and let me know which other mid price point sticks between 100 to roughly 150 US dollars that you want us to feature on the channel next. Now the reason we use pricing in dollars, because I see this in comments all the time, is because 95% of our audience is based outside of the United Kingdom and the US dollar is the global currency. So it's something that everyone can relate to and that's why we price our sticks in dollars or anything on the channel. Now of course these two sticks are of a price point that we don't normally use so it's going to be interesting to see what Tommy thinks of them, their performance, their weight, their features and if it's the sort of stick that he can use being a very privileged player that only uses top spec everything. So let's jump into it and see how this goes. guys if you like these types of videos make sure you thumbs up and also subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post and of course comment down below what sticks between 100 to 150 dollars roughly you want us to vs against each other next we're going to be doing all of the brands but let me know what you want to see next down below Okay, so we looked at the Code TMP2, the Sherwood Code TMP2, and the Tax AS570, 100, 100 to 150 dollars. US. U US dollars. Um, Before you even jump in, I'm just going to mention the fact that on paper, with the sticks in your hand off the ice, you, you actually said that you liked the Code TMP2 over the AS570, but on the ice, what happened? I think these two sticks, one excels in one thing, and the other excels in another. But overall, on the ice... I'll, I'll, I'll explain it, I'll okay, explain go on, it. because you were shooting way better okay. the AS570. So let me, let me... The TMP2 was great for one tees and for slap shots, which, as always, it's very nice to have, but how often do you slap shot on one tee when, I mean, when I play anyway, it's more of a wrist shot, backhand, snap shot. You very rarely get to take a slap shot and a one tee in, well, where I play and what, what level I play at. So- you Mention your position for anyone that doesn't know. I, I play either center or wing, depending on what my coach is feeling. Um, for that reason, I mean, I just don't really get to take slap shots um, all one tees. So, unfortunately, the Sherwood didn't excel in that, and the, the CCM did. The CCM, I'm sure you can see on the video, was very nice to wrist shot with, slap shot with. It was clear as night and day. It, it, was, it was very clean, it was very clean. It has a bit of weight to it, but I don't think this one is as, as square as the ones above it, which is always going to have, like I've mentioned in many videos, I don't like a square stick. So for that, that reason, if I had to buy one, it would be the AS570, purely for the fact of it excels in everything and not just one season slap shots. Okay, but now in terms of stick handling, general feel for the park, which, which stick did you say just generally felt like a better stick? I mean, I'm sure you can see it in the video, it's the, the tax. Everything was just very clean, easy, whereas the Sherwood, it just, it didn't flow, you know? That's interesting, okay. 
but yeah, if I, if I had to, you know, rank, this one's number one, number two, I'm buying them, which they range between 100 and 150 US dollars. It would be the Tax, the Tax AS570. I'm very impressed with this stick. Very impressed. But it's interesting, because if you move just one model up, it's a completely different story. Completely different the story. The TMP1 was better than the Tax ASV, I know. But I mean, that's the way the game works, you know? One thing can work for you and go up one more, it might not, you know? And just to put this out there, this is for me, <laughs> what works best for me. They are both P28, 75 Flex, just two different brands. One works better than the other. And just, just to finish off, instantly when I picked up the ASV 570, I was like, I don't know the grip. Said to Chris, grip, grip's terrible. But I think that was also, while I was taking one tees, my hand was slipping, mm -hmm. which is probably why I was like, this grip's terrible. But this is the thing, because if you just felt the sticks, did a bit of stick handling with them, and didn't really take time to use them, you would have said the Sherwood Co TMP2 was better than the AS570. Definitely, I definitely, especially since doing the shots we did, first off, I was like, terrible. Because we started with one-timers. We started with one-timers and I was like, that's terrible, I don't like it. Grip's horrible. It just shows that you really have to, if you have the opportunity and you go into a store where they have a little shooting range or shooting- Like hockey gear. Like hockey gear. Shameless. Um, use it. Use it, go and test it. Test every shot possible you can before you purchase a stick. Because this was proven today. We took one tease, I was like, I hate it. The grip's terrible. And then we took, gave me about five minutes with the stick, five, 10 minutes. And I was like, you know what? This is way better than the TMP2. So it just shows, don't go off of your initial fault. Give yourself some time with the stick, get the feel for the stick. And if you have the chance, test it properly. As always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. A big thank you to CCM and Sherwood for making this video possible. Also, Cambridge Ice Arena for allowing us to film the video here. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and take care. Till next time.